In my frenzied world, I sometimes ignore my human duty to be grateful. I'm surrounded by wonderful people who clearly define my life and make it the joy it is from day to day. I'm blessed with excellent health. My 92-year-old mom is still winking and giving me grief like only moms can do. I'm married to my best friend. I have beautiful, albeit scattered out family with two beautiful daughters with wonderful husbands, yielding three bright and beautiful grandchildren. The people I coach and those who coach me make me laugh and keep me challenged. I live in the same home my wife and I overcommitted to 31 years ago. I sing with fantastic gentlemen, race in the greatest motorsport I can imagine, and live in a picture postcard suburb of St. Louis, right in the middle of flyover land. I can complain a lot about how my government treats me, and others, and still can't think of any other country on the planet I'd prefer to call home. Which brings me to my gratefulness for today. At the risk of overusing this to all my veteran and current military friends, thank you. Thank you for your service. But I want to be more specific than that this morning. I particularly want to thank Staff Sergeant Donald A. Pete Reeland for his 32 years of service to this country in the Army, the Defense Intelligence Agency, and the National Security Agency. The guy was all Army and a saint. And he was my uncle the only member of my family to serve in the military since my great-great-uncle fought for preserving the Union in the mid-1860s. Pete was in signal school in his early Army career and served tours of duty at U.S. embassies in Tehran, New Delhi, Moscow, Beirut, Bern, Switzerland, Rabat, Morocco. To my knowledge, he never fired a shot defending our country's causes, but was in several harrowing situations letting the Marine Guards do that for him. He was a terrific ambassador for our country. In several of these posts, but once taking his own money to hire a helicopter and present himself as Santa Claus for kids in Muri by Bern, Switzerland, so all the dads could be present. And personally subduing a burglar once at an apartment house in Rabat, Morocco. He and my aunt would be on stateside leave and sometimes stateside training every four to five years or so, so we got to see them quite a bit. Uncle Pete was a jovial, red-nosed, lovable guy who apparently, from all the paperwork I cleared in his office when he passed, was a U.S. intelligent asset, a spy. About seven years ago, I had the distinct pleasure of helping my aunt work through the red tape to have him interred here at Arlington National Cemetery outside of D.C. Three years ago, we sent Ginny after him. This morning, I have the privilege of being able to stand before them and personally thank them. She was at every post throughout his career for their service. Nothing offhanded about my gratitude here. Thank you for your service, Sergeant Vreeland.